Uh, Minnesotans know that the peacetime emergency is over. It has been over for a long time. There has not been an emergency where the governor has needed these powers for months. Um, and it's time uh, that the governor end them. So uh, this allows the governor to uh, redeploy state employees back to their original agency and employment positions. It allows uh, to continue uh, testing and vaccines. It allows uh, additional flexibility for processing unemployment insurance for both employers and employees more quickly, and it allows us to continue receiving SNAP benefits for $30 million a month through the end of that program at the end of September. This, this is basically asking every member in this room to acknowledge that the governor has the authority to write law unilaterally and now can do so indefinitely without even having a peacetime emergency in effect. Is that, Rep, Majority Leader Winkler, is that, is that the way that you read this, that he can continue to execute orders even though there's not an emergency? Uh, amendment is drafted so that the governor can continue to work with the Department of Health and the Department of Human Services to ensure that we have testing facilities and vaccination sites up and running to respond to the emergency. So it's limited to vaccines and testing, as I've said before. It doesn't allow for closing of businesses or for uh, buying more morgues or any of the other things that we've heard about for 15 months.